Hi, my name is Mike Clark with Trotec Laser. Today we're going to do a general walkthrough of the Speed Marker 1300 Galvo laser system. The Speed Marker 1300 is available in a couple of different configurations. One is basically with an X table where we can actually segment in the left to right direction. Uh, you can also get it in a, in a Y configuration, so an X and Y configuration, which allows us not only to move left right, but to move north south. So the nice thing about, a, a, about having an X configuration is the fact that now I don't have a fixed area that my lens is controlling. I can actually segment and I can move left to right as I am on the gun here. So I can put a mark here, mark here, mark here um, with, the X, uh, with the X axis. With the Y axis, I could actually turn the gun or have multiple guns going backwards here and then that allows me now to be able to mark in segments um, in a larger uh, working area. If we take a look at the Speed Marker 300, you'll notice that it's a, basically a tabletop system. Um, and what that means is that the laser system sits on the table and then we have the rack and we have the computer system that are separate from the actual laser system itself. The nice thing about the 700 and the 1300 is they're actually workstations. And you can see here that each system has a built-in uh, power supply, rack, and computer, along with an attached keyboard, mouse, USB port, and monitor. Another subtle difference with the three systems is the Speed Marker 300 has a manual closed door, while the 700 and the 1300 have auto doors. These doors can be manually opened or they can be controlled by the software. All three versions of the Speed Marker come with standard fiber lasers, MOPA, while the 700 is also available in a CO2 version. We take a look at the Speed Marker systems, there's a couple things to consider. One of the important things to look at when you're looking at, a, at one of the Speed Markers is the difference between working area versus engraving area. Okay, if we take a look at the Speed Marker 300 here, you'll notice that we have a T-slot table that's basically about 13 inches by 13 inches. Uh, that's the actual working area. That's the size of the piece that we can place in here. The engraving area itself is controlled by the lens that we're working with. Different lenses will give us different engraving areas. Okay, for example, we have a 160 lens in here right now. Uh, the working area with the F160 uh, lens is four and three quarters by four and three quarters. Uh, the height is six and three quarters. If we go with an F100 lens, then we're looking at around two and three quarters by two and three quarters in terms of an engraving area. The same lenses are available in the 700 with the addition of some larger lenses. Um, the big difference between uh, the 700 and the 300 is the fact that the working area is bigger and the actual Z 